good morning guys welcome back to another video today i'm taking you guys through my morning routine because this is easily the most requested video that i get all of you guys are always asking um for me to like go in depth about stuff i do in my morning or just to come along with me um for my entire morning routine and you guys just know I love my routines, so I'm super excited to be filming this video for you guys today. Everyone say hey to my pimp that I've woken up with, loving that. I've actually been really emotional this week, had a little breakdown on Tuesday, and this kind of explains why. So today is a weekday, so my weekdays normally consist of uni and work, um, so I normally work in the afternoon and the night and then do all of my uni stuff in the morning today is a little bit of a funny day because i have a pilates class that i go to every week and that's at 10 15 so i have this weird chunk in the morning and then a bit after just before i go to work so yeah that's kind of where we're heading today my favorite part of my morning is just spending that time to collect my thoughts, ground myself, and just get my headspace sorted before I start tackling my day. Most of you would probably know I'm a big fan of journaling. I honestly couldn't recommend it enough. In the last 12 months, my journals have become such a big part of not only my morning routine, but just my well-being and just my mental stability, I guess. So I'm going to quickly go through those for you guys today. So the first journal that is probably my most used is this one um so i kind of get like a new one every year this one doesn't have much left so i'm kind of just gonna finish this one before i start another one but this is kind of i guess like a mental health journal and anything journal really i put so much stuff in here depends how i am feeling that day depending on what i write in here it's not really like a dear diary today this happened to me occasionally i'll write stuff like that if it's like something i want to look back on do you know what i mean like today i got a new job just to look back on and be like oh that's when that happened sometimes i'll even do like journal prompts so i make up my own i have a list of them on my phone so here we go what does your ideal morning look like who is someone you admire what's something you've always wanted to do what am i grateful for i practice gratitude in here literally everything Probably my biggest thing that I use it for is for my mental health um, and if I'm feeling a certain way, I'm very in tune with my emotions so however I'm feeling that day, if I'm stressed, if I'm anxious, if I'm worried, if I'm sad, I'll try and work out what the cause is and then kind of unpack it. Why might I be feeling that way? How can I stop myself from feeling that way? What can I do about my situation? And I kind of unpack my emotions in here. There's a bunch of things I use this for, but this is a lifesaver to me. And this one I don't always use in the morning. I did use it today, uh, but this is my manifestation journal. So something I've gotten into a little bit more recently. I used to be really into it, and then I just like forgot about it for a good six months. And now we're back again. But manifesting is kind of just attracting your ideal world, knowing that you have the ability to create the life that you want you have the power to create change or whatever it is so sometimes i do prompts in here again so i'll kind of do um unpack something that i told myself that um, isn't for me but something that i really want or i really desire in my life and then you kind of use like affirmation and visualize what that looks like in past tense all of this is kind of like written in past tense thanking the universe for giving me whatever it is that i'm trying to manifest into my life so that's another one that i use and probably my main two i'd really recommend like some sort of like mental health kind of journal um, to practice gratitude and sort out your mental well-being. I find that writing it on paper just helps me so, so much. Anyway, now that the journaling side of things is done, I'm going to make my to-do list for today, work out what needs to be done. I might do a little bit of uni work this morning and yeah, bring you guys along for the rest of my morning. now I've done a little bit of work I've just kind of got myself sorted and I've been doing some uni work but now I'm going to make myself some breakfast so even though it's winter I've still been loving having smoothies for breakfast so so I've just got ice a little bit of frozen mango I'm gonna pop in a banana handful of spinach and then I use coconut water as my liquid you can use like almond milk or water whatever you're feeling and then I'll add my powders to the top 
And then this is the protein that I am currently using. So it's dairy and refined sugar free. It's got um, digestive enzymes, so it really helps with your gut. Yeah, but this is in the vanilla flavor. So I'll add two scoops to this. So then for powders, um, these are what I kind of switch between. So hemp seeds, chia seeds, turmeric powder, and maca powder. Today I'm just gonna do these three, but I thought I'd show you this one as well. This is really good for inflammation. I have had a lot of inflammation in my body in the past like month. So I've been using this just to keep um, everything at bay and I've really been enjoying this. I don't add too much. Um, because it is quite strong. But I add in hemp seeds, which is really good for omega-3, um, which if you're vegetarian is a little bit hard to get. I have some chia seeds, which I am running out of, I need some more, and maca powder for my hormones, because as you know, I'm a very hormonal gal. Right now, this week has been a very hormonal week, so I like to add maca powder whenever I feel like I need it. And there we go, this is my breakfast. I know it's winter, but I've just been like loving the smoothies. It's so easy for me to digest um, first up in the morning. And I don't normally get hungry until like 10. So if I need to eat early in the morning, like 7.30, 8, 8.30, 8.30 is probably normally when I'll have breakfast. Yeah, these have just been really good. And then I'm also gonna fill up my water bottle. I try to drink like three of these a day, but yeah, I like to stay nice and hydrated. I've noticed such a difference with having this around and just sipping on it all day. But yeah, normally I'll refill this like twice. So while I drink my smoothie, I'll normally just like chill out, do something that like, I don't know, kind of doesn't require a lot of brain energy. I normally do a lot of YouTube stuff while I have breakfast. So I'll reply to my emails, um, organize stuff. If I've got like content stuff that I need to do um, on the weekend, I'll sort that out. But I'm currently uploading a video that I edited the other day that I forgot to upload. So I'm going to schedule that and do like the thumbnail and all that kind of stuff while I finish my breakfast. And then we're going to get ready for Pilates. I'm actually so nervous for Pilates today because I'm so sore from my workouts this week. So Pilates is going to be interesting. I'm like going to struggle. I know. I know. I've got to mentally prepare myself. But normally I train before I have breakfast. So um, I'll go to the gym or work out or whatever I'm doing, do a home workout. But on this particular day, my class is later in the morning. So I just got ready for Pilates and I'm going to show you what I wear. Please don't judge me. I dress for practicality in Pilates and I look like a bit of an idiot. I don't care. So I've got these new blue leggings on which are from Elite 11. Um, and then I've just got a white Nike sports bra underneath. This shirt is literally a men's shirt from Kmart. It's just comfy when I can't be bothered. And then I wear socks for Pilates and I can't be bothered putting on shoes. So my backs go on. It's very cold though. So I'm going to put on a jacket and then head out. Ooh, I just finished Pilates. That was an effort and a half. Anyway, I need to go home and get ready for work, have something to eat and get on with the rest of my day. <laughs> Hello guys, this is editing George here. Um, I didn't finish off this video as well as I would have liked to. I got called into work early. I was just gonna film like some clips of me getting ready and then heading off to work and then ending off the video anyway. After I got home, I was pretty rushed and had to quickly get into work. So hence why I am ending off this video now, but I hope you enjoyed seeing my morning routine in a little bit more um, in depth, I guess, because normally in my vlogs, I don't kind of explain things too much um but i hope you enjoyed seeing this routine and if you like routine videos make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss any more i want to film a nighttime routine and some other um, little routine videos so if you've got any recommendations of what you'd like to see let me know but yeah this video was super requested so i hope you enjoyed um coming along for my morning with me all my mornings change up a little bit depending on what I'm doing. Obviously, my Fridays are very different to the other days of the week. But look after yourselves, guys, and I will see you all in my next video very, very soon. Bye, guys.